In last video we made a logo on the side. If you have made a logo and find that you suddenly just have one solid body instead of two, then you could cancel that and hide the part, the body, that you don't want to be involved. Make the logo and then you should still keep two solid bodies. Now let's do some mounting bosses. You could do them absolutely manual, which works nice, but there is a built-in feature for making mounting bosses. When you're working with mounting bosses, a cross section could be very nice to have. So let's make a cross section here that I adjust a little bit. To have it a little bit lower so we could look inside here. Accept that. So, by having a cross section, we could work on both solid bodies uh, very easily. Here we have a sketch that we could hide, a little bit of cleaning. Insert, Features, Fastening Features, and here you have Mounting Bosses. You could also do other automatic things like making a snap hook uh, or a snap hook and a groove together automatically. This works pretty, pretty good if you have simple geometry. Otherwise, this is also something that you could do manually. Air Ventilation. This we could have used for the hairdryer instead of doing the sketch pattern. Lip and groove. This is an automatic tool again. Doing a lip and groove also works good if you don't have very complicated geometry. All of these you should try. And let's go for the mounting boss. It opens up a window and it says that it will create a mounting boss by selecting a face. So, if you hover above the blue window, it says select a face. So, let's zoom in here and decide for a position. So, let's say I would like to position it in between these ribs here. So, just click and there we have it. We have a mounting boss. The angle is not correct. So, if I activate the next window here and just hover above it, it says select direction. Now we could choose an edge that points in the direction that we would like this to, to go, a line or a surface or plane that is normal to that direction. And I will borrow this surface here, so I just click there. And now the mounting boss adjusts towards the same direction as that one. If we continue down, we'll have a possibility here to position to a circular edge, but for the moment we, we don't need that. We have that point that we also could move later on if we like. Next thing to decide here is it would, if it would be a, a boss for a screw, or if you will make, would like to have a pin. Yeah, this could be useful if you can't make a lip and groove and, and you would like to govern the pieces with just a pin and a boss, so no screws. But I will go for a screw tower, so then it will look like this. We could enter a boss height, so if you look at the sketch here, we could just go in here and change this, and it will extend the height of this. But usually you would like to go up to the mating plane here. So if I mark select mating phase, then we could try to find a surface that is exactly in between these two bodies here. Uh, we could have prepared this, uh, but we could also try to just find a surface inside here that is absolutely in the middle. So let's see if I choose right click in this area. If I choose select other, it means that I shoot a bullet straight through the geometry here 
and then we could slide in this list until it highlights the surface that I believe is the right and I think that's the the one I would like to go for so if I choose this one we could zoom out and yes now it has the same height as the mating face looks good continue down in the list here so we have the height there you have the diameter so here you could set uh, stuff that that is important for having the screw here so you of course adjust these values for the screw type you have for instance uh, the G value here needs to be of course big enough for the screw head to fit in continue down we come to the fins so here we could lengthen these if we would like to have more strength so the value C is the height so if I just change this to 15 you can see how the fins go further up to make this more strong okay I accept that And now we have a mounting boss. If you scroll down, you can see that we have added a fastening feature there. Okay, so this one should have the opposite part on the other side. So let's go for insert, fastening feature, and mounting boss again. And this time, the position will be on the opposite side here. So I try to click somewhere I think is opposite. The direction, now I could click on this surface here and it should line up and it, it does but on the wrong side. So we need to flip that, that's better. The length, yeah and also here we have use of this third possibility here. So if I go in here now and click on let's say that circle. When I picked the edge there it went into a peculiar direction. So let's go back here and tell it to go flat towards that surface there. Again it flips in the wrong direction but now when we force it back it has both the surface and the edge there it lines up perfectly so this is exactly what we would like to have and it should be a little bit of clearance there so everything is all right now we could continue down here and choose uh, values again for this other piece for instance we have all the way down we have the fins there again so again you could tweak the settings here you could even add uh, more or less fins here so you could just decide for three four five or whatever you like and you, you could also if you prefer you could choose a direction of these fins here so if i click on an edge here i could have the fins lining up or a surface i could have the fins lining up to to that surface let's take that one instead yeah so now we have lined up the fins relating to that surface. I'm happy with that, except and now it made another mount mounting boss there. So if we move the cross section tool, so now the screw should go in here and the screw head should stop there and then it should go into the other part. And here we could lengthen this so you get less volume here so that is important so you don't get a, a sink in the surface here but this is good mounting bosses